Hey, right. Thanks for joining us on today's video. You know what? Uh, anytime you can get a car, a $200,000 car for uh, almost one quarter the price that it was originally, uh, and, and low miles and great colors and incredible driving, that's awesome. But forget all that because none of this matters. When I start this car, you'll find a way to get into your garage because there's no car, no sedan, no Porsche, no Bentayaga, uh, no any sport utility four-door that sounds like this car when you insert the crystal key into the dash. It is amazing. I'm talking, wow, that's why we're doing it outside today. Anyway, uh, you know, these cars are, are very much hand-built, a lot of uh, technology in them. They're still, uh, uh, you know, really relevant today. This is a 2011, we're doing the video in 2020, and this car here still has a lot of the great features that today's modern 2020 car has. Aston Martin's always been on the cutting edge of that. LED lights, things like that. Doesn't look outdated, and when it drives, man, it drives, and it sounds so good. The interior of this car is ridiculous. The back seats alone, I almost sit in the back. It's almost nicer in the back of this car than it even is in the front with the way the seats are carved out, the beautiful aluminum trim, and wait till you see the trunk on it. A lot of people see it as a trunk, but it's a hatch, and it's so beautifully detailed back there. You almost like don't want to put anything back there other than maybe some fitted Aston Martin luggage that you'll need to get, all right? Let's talk about great looking paint. Factory paint like this, come check this out because this right here is beautifully detailed. And I think that when you see all the letters nice and clear, and you go, wow, that is a beautiful car. All right, so let's take a peek under the hood for a second here. We got six liter V12, right? Almost 500 horsepower. It's rated at 470. Most people consider us to be a 500 horsepower engine. <laughs> How are you doing, right? inspected by and that's not that this is a big deal but this is the little touch that you get when you get an aston and you get into the family so many people who get into the aston family never get out bernard tandle inspected this car aluminum block beautiful intake manifold look at the strut bars that tie all of the frame together to make it stiff this right here all aluminum all the original stickers are still around you know giving you an indication that this car hasn't been in an accident panels haven't been replaced because if they were you couldn't buy a lot of these stickers and they wouldn't be there but it's beautiful to open the hood show people the engine because how many people are showing their engine in today's modern car typically it's covered in just plastic and hoses you can't say anything aston does this nice piece of the intake manifold this beautifully designed centerpiece and again back to those strut and tower braces they look really great so we'll just go ahead and close the hood here and the finish and fit. So this is kind of cool too. This tag bracket we can put wherever you want. This is we made. Uh, we bought a custom bracket for it. We can put it down here. We can move it around. I think quite honestly the mug is so beautiful. It might be better looking down here. We didn't drill the bumper to put a tag bracket on. We could do that as well or or you could have no tag bracket at all because many states uh, don't even require a front tag. So that's it. Anyway, uh, I know I'm rambling. I know I get excited or whatever, but really the back of this car is as beautiful as the front. And I want to take a minute and just show you that just so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, a couple of nice features back here. First off, this styling is still awesome. This right here, the wings, beautiful. I love the repeat. And I'll tell you why. I drove this car home the other day and I'm watching people's face because they've never seen one. Most people have never even seen a repeat, let alone uh, heard one, right? And so some of the features that I like about it here are is this. So if you're putting people in the back, you know, this is a small door. Part of the styling of this is it looks so great, right? It's a small. So what they did was when you open the door, the window drops all the way down to give you more room to get in the car, right, for bigger people. And so that's really a nice feature. And once we get in back, you'll see full-length console, these beautiful design seats in the back. This one here has the upgraded entertainment system in the headrest built into a very expensive system for its time. It's really nice. That's what I'm talking about when it's modern, right? So here we have this. Check that out. There's a couple pieces of dust here. I don't know who would do such a thing. But look how detailed this is in here. And we got a full console. We have those beautiful seats. This is nice because it covers uh, some luggage or whatever. This is a functional car, man. It looks, it's an exotic. But you could use this every single day, which makes it so amazing. Anyway, we've talked about that enough. But I really feel like we're at that place where we should go ahead and start it so you can hear it. And let me go ahead and fire it up so you can hear what that V12 sounds like. All right. I'm rolling.
All right, so come join me in here because this is where you're going to spend a lot of time. I like to point this out. Oops, I didn't close that all the way. Is that I'm a 6'1", and I have an enormous amount of headroom in here. Um, and there's just room. There's just room in this car. But I like to show some of those beautiful touches that make an Aston an Aston. For instance, like watch the stereo speakers uh, when we go to start the car. I just turned uh, just uh, to the position there. And then um, watch those. Screen pops up, nav screen, um, sound system. Uh, it's got the uh, the Bang & Olufsen system, which is optional on the car as well. Heated and air conditioned seats up front. This really nice stack, separate controls, uh, sport mode with suspension and uh, exhaust. So when you push the sport mode, you get a little different uh, throttle positions. You also get uh, some nice stuff like uh, an open exhaust, so you get a full open exhaust the whole time. And the cool thing is, you push the sport button, you can ride around with the exhaust. It sounds great. And if you got to jump on the phone or whatever, then you just uh, take it off sport mode. You get that nice quiet exhaust, and uh, that's the difference. 220 mile an hour speedometer. How you doing? <laughs> How you doing? I've only done 210, so I don't know if it does 220. 210 is my max speed, right? Because I like to smoke when I drive. I like to smoke, so a lot of times I'll keep my arm out the window uh, and do this. Is this where I hold a cigarette? I think so. Maybe I don't really smoke, but it sounded cool. I think smoking's cool because everybody does it, right? Not so cool. Uh, anyway, 8,000 RPM tack, full gauges. It's all right here. Even like this binnacle is covered in leather. The dash covered in leather. Just all of this stuff, man, just looks so nice. And uh, I don't know. It's just detail stuff. I love the way the speakers rise and fall right down inside there. It's just such the nicest, nicest piece. So come join me back here for a second, because this, this, this is just another, like, I haven't been in the back seat of a car, like, this Alcantara headliner, this full-length console with storage in here, it's got a full stereo system output here, if you want to run your iPod or whatever, remote for uh, the TVs, and just the fit and finish, heated and air-conditioned seats are back here, heated and air-conditioned, even has a... Uh, pistons that hold the doors up and the way the doors work is they don't open like a regular car like this they open up like this to give you even more room uh, for getting in and out most people don't even notice the stitching you got red contrast stitching all throughout the whole interior all this interior is covered in leather these side panels the dash the seats the door panels this console all this stuff leather 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 all right, so close up the video on this Aston Martin Rapide. I just love saying it, the Aston, Aston Martin Rapide. They make less than 200 of these, less than 200. A sticker price over $200,000, some of them selling for $250,000, right? This was a really expensive car, and it is a really, really great used car, right? It's new to me, it's new to you, it still looks great. It is an amazing piece. It's never going to be a $15,000 car, right, in its current state. That's why it's still at its place. This is how you buy exotic cars. When the depreciation out, somebody else handled it, and you don't have to pay the price for that, right? So we're talking about almost 500 horsepower. We're talking about paddle shifters if you want, so you can drive this car in full sport mode like a sports car, or you can get in there, jump on the phone, make some deals, take the family, go out with another couple. This is a really cool car to go out and do that. Anyway, call us, 301. 816-1000. We'll tell you all about this 11 Aston Martin repeat. Don't forget, if you would, share this with your friends and uh, subscribe to our channel. And make sure you like there. And, of course, if you got some great Aston Martin stories, like you've been to the factory or you knew a friend that had one or you got bit by the Aston Martin bug, we'd love to hear about it. <laughs>